Um, it's really interesting to me because the way that Keith talks about this is the same conversations that I had with people who worked for brands for about two or three years when I was doing the research for my book, um, Black Ops Advertising. And what people say who work on brands is that we as brands understand and know this industry better than anybody else. And it can be true to a certain extent that there may be, um, some of you probably know Casper, right? You've seen the, the sort of mint colored advertising that appears. And they have a website called Van Winkles. And Van Winkles doesn't say anywhere, unless you look way at the bottom of the site, that it's for Casper. And it's everything you could possibly want to know about sleeping, about Michelle Obama having the Girl Scouts over for a sleepover, all these kinds of things. Now, for that particular brand, it may not be that big an issue, but you should know there's a corporate sponsor behind the information that is being presented to you. And that's where the line for me starts to get really muddy, is we need to know who is presenting the content to us and not simply that content is being presented to us. And where this starts to get really questionable is when we get into journalistic sites like the New York Times, like the Washington Post, like the Wall Street Journal, and all of the rest of them that are hiring former journalists who can't find work anywhere else because all the publications folded, right? We had about 10 years ago when a number of newspapers folded, journalists are having a hard time finding jobs where they can find jobs or places where they can write what looks like journalism for brand marketers. And then it becomes content that becomes very difficult to differentiate between what's, what's branded content and what's real journalism. If it's something like, and I'm sure a lot of you know this one, Orange is the New Black was the first piece that was done by the New York Times, the T-Brand Studio, right? Do I care that Netflix and Orange is the New Black is, is giving information about women in prison? No, I think that's probably information that's really interesting, probably wouldn't have been done, the Times wouldn't have touched it because they didn't have the money to produce that kind of content. But when Shell Oil, is presenting content about sustainability, and it's being done under the imprinter of the New York Times, and the same thing is true of Goldman Sachs, and they're trying to clean up their image after the recession of 2008, then we have to start questioning what, you know, where is the integrity of these particular journalistic outlets.